I don't know if that dog is going to make it today. <laughs> you guys know the joke, right? What do you call a dog running across Standing Rock? Supper. Fast food. <laughs> of course, a Yakima would know that one. <laughs> My name is Speed Pods. Speed Pods. Brian Cladispeed. I'm the chairman of the Swinomish tribe. We're located about a hour north of Seattle, Washington. We are Coast Salish. I'm also blessed by the Creator, our curse, depending on what day it is, to be your president and the president of the National Congress of American Indians. <laughs> Yesterday we sent a letter to the president. We sent a letter to the Corps of Engineers to tell them, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Fifty years ago, our voice would have been heard, but they wouldn't have been listening. We would have been at a table telling them why we're against this, but they would have done it anyway. Today is a different day. This is a day that our elders prayed for. And we're here for one reason, because your elders prayed for you. That's why you're here today. Your parents, your grandparents. It's your prayers that is going to make us through this. We've lived under a pollution-based economy for a hundred years, where the corporations ransacked Mother Earth. In every corner of Turtle Island, you have horror stories of pollution. Pollution in our water. Pollution in our air pollution in our soil. If you look at the statistics, 40% of every human being around the world today is dying because of pollution caused by man. It's a pollution-based economy. 20 years ago, we signed an agreement on our reservation to only allow 25 cars across our reservation, Burlington Northern Railroad. A couple of years ago, they started breaking that agreement and sending 100 cars across our reservation. Those 100 cars are full of Bach and oil heading to our reservation. We are fighting them in court right now in Seattle. And those lawyers, it's amazing, in one generation, every one of those people on the other side for Burlington Northern that negotiated that are dead. They had to come to us and ask us, can we have a copy of that agreement because we cannot find ours. Every attorney, every leader, every person that negotiated that is dead. We're all still here. We leaders, I've been on my council 32 years, chairman for 20. We're still here. We tell them that said, you in the corporate world, you don't live here. You make decisions in the boardroom that will affect this community. You can go home. You can sleep in your beds. But what you're trying to do to these people here is almost criminal. We're here to stand with you. To let you know that we support you. To let you know that we back you. The biggest thing we can do is pray for you. But I know some of our leaders have done more than that. So thank you for allowing us into your homeland. Thank you for allowing us to walk on this sacred ground. The ground that your ancestors have walked on. They're buried here in this, in this land. Their blood flows in this land. And I thank our Creator for answering the prayers that we still have warriors, men and women, here today. And I encourage you to do this in a peaceful way. Do it the right way, because as you heard, the world is watching. They're just waiting for us to explode. They think that we're going to become, I don't know what the word is, radical? We're already radical. 
I went through a roadblock today, stupid roadblock, just to irritate us. I was with one of your council members, Charles, Frank, was it Frank? As we got to that roadblock, we are in the lead, one of the lead cars, and he says, ask them why they're doing this. And we get up to the roadblock, and the creator, somehow, some way, that still small voice told those officers, let these people through. <laughs> the creator told them, they're coming through in peace. They're not here to incite violence. He had, it was a great day. You, he was in my car, your councilman here, and you had to witness the happiness he felt to be able to allow us to drive along that sacred life-giving water that comes through your area. It made him feel good. He thought we are going to have to drive all the way around. I still don't know why they have that roadblock there. It just irritate us, but oh well. Back home we say Weeby, Weeby. We be here when they got here, and we be here when they gone. We be, we be nation, they said.